Good evening, Internet. I'm here today to talk to you about something that's a big problem. That's right, I'm here to talk to you about your waifu. What is a waifu, you ask? Waifu is actually kind of uh, Japanese for wife. And on 4chan's anime board, uh, waifu is a term for a fictional character that a person might have a crush on. If you're a little creeped out by the idea of some sweaty nerd in the basement who is uh, actually in love with a two-dimensional fictional character, no worries, you're not alone. Uh, there's a lot of problems with a person who probably is actually in love with somebody who's not real, who is not in this dimension. On the other hand though, is it really all that wrong to have a waifu? Let me scratch the term waifu for a second, get rid of it, erase it from your mind, don't look at that video title, is it wrong to have crushes on fictional characters? I'm not even talking about anime right now. I'm talking about anything. Surely, if you look back to your childhood, you had a crush on some character. Almost everyone does. It's completely understandable. These characters are larger than life. It's hard not to adore personality traits, characteristics, and sometimes be inspired to find people in reality who share these characteristics and to find your own real life waifu. Actually, waifu was originally used as an insult for people who are too obsessed with fictional characters. But nowadays, it's actually grown to almost be like this kind of self-aware joke where when you claim you have a waifu, it's almost an exaggerated response to, wow, I really adore this character, so much so that I'm going to become a crazed otaku who obsesses over this character and buys a pillow and it's almost all done ironically at this point i've seen people you can go on youtube right now and find people who are like my top 50 waifus but a person who says they have 50 waifus i don't think they're actually trying to create a harm or maybe they are i'm not sure but i can guarantee a lot of the people who are using the term waifu nowadays are actually very self-aware the real trouble with this comes from how do you recognize who's taking this too far, and who's doing it in a silly self-mocking way. Poe's Law. You will never be able to recognize when someone's parodying something. You can't tell who's being sincere and who's doing self-mockery. So if the term waifu in itself isn't automatically terrible, I'd argue the real problem are people who are in abusive waifu relationships. People who are using their attachment to these fictional characters as an excuse not to go into the real world. If you see a bad waifu relationship, don't stay quiet. Try and get help. Waifus are capable of hurting just as much as they are of helping. Stay safe out there, internet, and have a good night.